Is a 15 year old mature? I, a 15 year old can be. be mature. Yes, they, that's exactly so. Bro, bro, mature <laughs> enough to have intercourse with you as a man? Absolutely. Like an adult yes. man? Absolutely. Yeah. So, this Christian man defends his actions in this next video, and that's going to be what I respond to. Essentially, for preferring what God's word says, I'm called an up 3 to you. The Bible gives two specific things that would imply that a female is ready to engage in sexual intercourse within marriage. Physically mature. What it's saying is the female has to have menstruated. Okay, within Jewish culture, the menstruation of a female signifies her physical maturity. Ah, your first mistake was assuming that just because something is done in ancient Israelite culture, it's therefore biblical and should be practiced today. That was your first mistake. You don't argue for our nation to have a king. You don't argue for biblical slavery, and you don't argue for the honor and shame culture that ancient Israel was in. Furthermore, you're actually wrong about Jewish culture, as a lot of Jewish practices and traditions actually encouraged raising the age of consent to a much higher level than 15 or anything less than that. Some scholars have also pointed to Ezekiel chapter 16 where God personifies his relationship to Israel as a husband and wife relationship and mentions that even though she had grown, he later passes by. She had developed and then God waits until later in order to have marriage with her. It's good that you mentioned physical maturity because we know that these are the ages in which puberty begins. And it is different for each individual girl and boy, but that's why the age of consent is 18. Men and women both need time for their bodies to develop before they should ever engage in marriage in those activities. Because girls under 18, for example, are more likely to develop illnesses, fistulas, and all sorts of other complications from what you're advocating. Emotional maturity. A female mentally ready of making that decision to engage in sexual intercourse. Now, different females obviously mature at different rates. What's really, really, really important about this thing, right, is that you cannot put a specific age on it. And it's good that you mention emotional and mental maturity because we know that we need to give teens the time for their brain to develop before they can consent to these sorts of activities, which is why, again, we've had the age of consent or should have the age of consent everywhere being 18. Please check out this debate. The information there is truly important. So, unlike what this person claims in this video, this is not your brain on Christianity. This is your brain on bad hermeneutics and misinformation, and that combination can be dangerous. Do better, Christians.